since uh, Richmond the last couple of years. Clearly, that was a big win for them away from home against a very talented Fremantle side, 25 points. So you were pretty confident in the Tigers. Well, they're a, they're a system-based team, and Damien Hardwick talks about that all the time. They've had some big wins this year. I mean, that was real backs to the wall. They've mm. got some key players out, but they've had those players out for four or five weeks now. So they have... Uh, we know they're a good team, and they all do their job, and they've still got a couple of stars in there. Dusty Martin did some pretty special things again, but uh, I still have faith in the Tigers. Uh, they'll get players back in the coming weeks, and... I think they can still uh, still stand up. Well, the news gets worse from them. They've lost Toby Nankervis, the number one ruckman, for six to eight weeks. But I agree with you, Darcy. I reckon that's their best win since the Premiership. They've had ten players out now, uh, including Nankervis and uh, another one that went down. So if they're going to do it this year, they're going to have to do really what Hawthorne did in 2014 and somehow find a way to survive all that carnage there and get their team back. The news over the weekend, Alex Rance confirming that he feels as though he's on track to make a miraculous comeback. So they could do what the Hawks did and just get it all together. And as you say, that week off before the finals does change everything. Tony Lynch has been under the pump. Did he do enough yesterday, Dust? Uh, 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 Ma yeah, Mark, Mark. Mark the footy really well. The yeah. uh, hardest thing to do in the game. Probably didn't kick uh, accurately, but the hardest thing to do in this game is actually get your hands on the pill. Um, you know, you put him through the big sticks and that's a very, very good game for him. He, like I said, that's that's what Tom Lynch is capable of doing and that's what we want to see him doing on a regular basis. Is there any player in the history of the game, Dars, that hasn't responded after they've been criticised widely in the media? Can you think of anyone that's, that hasn't responded? Particularly with that sort of talent. He's a very good player, Tom Lynch. And Matty Lloyd went after him and, and said he was a, you know, becoming a liability mm. for the side. Look, he, he hadn't trained at all pre-season, kicked 16 goals. Or, you know, got a few out the back. But uh, a good player like that always responds. And Curvis is a big loss, though, I must admit. It, it gets tougher for them. I mean, with yeah. that list, and you look through, that, that was a quality mm. list of injuries, wasn't it? But, Nan, I always thought, given that Greg was the backup ruckman, um, they were always in trouble if they lost him, so their depth's going to be tested for sure.